video, you were able to solve problems involving mass for concentration of solutions. Today, we will be solving problems about concentration of solutions, but this time using volume. It's what we call the percent by volume or volume percentage. Let's take this problem for example. Determine the volume or volume percent solution made by combining 25 ml of ethanol with enough water to produce 200 ml of the solution. This problem is almost similar with the first examples that we have regarding percent by mass. The only difference is that this one uses volume while the other one uses mass. There are different units for volume and one of these units can be ml or milliliters. We can also use liters or other um, units for volume. Now, we will solve this problem by starting off with the given. Let us now try to identify the given in this problem. So we have 25 ml as the volume of the solute that's letter E and we also have 200 ml that's the volume of the solution so what is being asked in the problem what is being asked in the problem is to determine the volume percentage or the percent by volume so, in order for us to solve this problem, you will be needing the formula or the equation to solve the problem. This is the equation, percent volume is equal to volume of solute. So, this is pretty similar with percent by mass. Volume of solute divided by volume of solution times 100. So in the last video, if you have watched the last video before this one, the mass was um, changed into volumes. So it's easier to memorize the formula. So the next step for us now is to substitute the formula. Percent by volume is equal to the volume of solute. The volume of solute is 25 ml over the volume of solution which is 200 ml times 100. Okay, so let's proceed to the next one. Percent by volume, so 25, cancel first the ml before anything else, and then 25 divided by 200. So if you think you can uh, calculate mentally, you may, but if you cannot, then you can use your calculator. So in our case, I'll be using this calculator. I'm going to input 25 divided by, divided by 200 is equal to 0 0.125. So let me go back to our sketch pad. So the answer is 0 0.125 times 100 so giving us the final answer so let's just move the decimal place one two because of the two zeros here so that gives us 12.5 percent so that's the answer 12.5 percent is the percent by volume of the solution you are now ready for problem number two